Oh boy, one of my sports fans, Mike Kretz here tonight. The championship round of the Division II Super 6 Region Tournament. The top three go to the national championships in St. Louis. Let's get you out to Bronson right now. Yeah, real quick, wanted to give Coach Pfeiffer a shout out, earning the NWCA Super Region 6 Coach of the Year Award before the wrestling started. But let's get to the wrestling. We're going to start with the third place matchups. Win this and you are going to the ships. Lose it and your season will be cut short. Just so close. Obviously, a lot on the line. The Grand Junction kid, Dawson Collins, in the 125 pound bracket. He had a nice showing against Parker McBride of CSU Pueblo. And he really wanted this single leg takedown, working on the perimeter. High wrestling IQ to not give up on it. Pulls McBride back in. And then and they get close to going out again. But like I said, Collins wanted this takedown and would get it when he goes to pull again and then just jumps on those hips late in the second period up 3-1. Kind of a similar situation. Trips up the Thunder Wolf at the perimeter. Isn't awarded control, but he stays at it, aware of where he is, and then gets his two. As for the third period, it was a big old ride. Dawson Collins is headed to St. Louis. Colin Metzger wrestling right behind him at 133, going up against Western's Alex Alvarez. Uh, it has to be said, the folks from Gunnison traveled well. They didn't see a whole lot of scoring in this one. Came close here at the end of this first. The officials would say no control there. Nothing all going into the second where Alvarez chose his bottom. Metzger with a lanky ride out. Picked up two minutes of ride time. Still 0-0 in the third where Metzger chose bottom and promptly rolled out of the ride and into control. Up one nothing a score line. That would stick. Metzger takes home third and a trip to the national championships. At 174, the other Grand Junction native and Seth Latham going at it against Cole Hernandez of Western. You can see uh, what kind of match this is going to be early, a little coming together of the minds, and now Latham's made up his mind. He wants to shoot, has to dig deep here, but finally comes out the side, dumps those hips, and gets to work from top. We've seen him do this at Bronson in dual competition too, just pulling on that head to earn some near fall points. Up 6 nothing after one. Hernandez would get a few shots in, but as you're seeing, for the most part, Latham was in control, grabbing the 14-4 win, 184. Let's talk Nolan Crone, the last Maverick in the third place matchup against the familiar phone Colorado Mines, Anderson Salisbury. Uh, a nothing all matchup in the second. Crone working top, gets too high and gets caught. A heck of a job to avoid back points, really, but gives up the two for the reversal. Has a job to do in the third on bottom and gets the first part done quick, getting the escape down one, but short on time, forced to shoot. Can't quite get in as tight as he'd like. In fact, it'd be Salisbury reaching that foot, leans those hips in and grabs a last second two and grabbing the 5-2 win. Let's talk championship round. A little bit of the pressure off because the top three go to the national championships. I promise you, though, Donnie Negus still would want that regional championship, but man, his opponent was TUFF tough. Nebraska Carney's Hayden Prince. Negus initiating the shot. Looked like he was on his way to two, but it'd be Prince getting the match's opening takedown, but Negus the cool customer would work an escape here in the second. Prince on bottom looking for the escape and actually looking for more here. Almost gets Negus in trouble working his way inside. Ultimately, it would be one for the escape and now a 3-1 match. Late in the second, Negus goes for a shot again. This time it's a bit of a 50-50 spot, but Donnie, he wants to improve those odds. Patiently works his way into position where he can score, but how good is the defense from Prince here? It's still a 3-1 match in the third. Negus would choose bottom and work his way out. Makes it a one-point match and then the swerve. Prince opts to go offensive using the low single ultimately would get the two and get the 5-2 win. Negus takes home second. Last but certainly not least at 157 pounds, Ryan Wheeler. What a 22 campaign he had coming back from injury and tonight uh, making it to the championship match in a tournament he didn't win a match in last year. Uh, this match, it started with the bang catching his Adam State opponent, Josiah Ryder. Puts him to his back. Wouldn't get the pin but picked up two near fall points just to make it 4-0. Later in the first, something clearly wrong for Ryder. He would ultimately try and go again, but ultimately uh, he had to stop, meaning Ryan Wheeler is your 22, 157 pound Super Region 6 champion. I'm excited. You're in a national tournament, college national tournament. It's something I've thought about since I was, I've wrestled since I was three or four years old. I mean, Little League, I mean, that's always been the goal. It's college wrestling, college nationals. So, finally getting to go and compete, I'm just excited. In all, five Mavericks qualified for the national championships. Good luck to them all, and thank you to every Maverick for one heck of a wrestling season.